so now we will see input type number in html form so guys basically the input tag along with the type number defines a numeric input field which will allow the user to only provide the numbers in this input field now you can also set the restrictions on what numbers are accepted so guys we will check this with the help of examples as well with the help of min and max attributes so let us move to the vs code over here and previously we had seen the different input types such as file and then hidden and the month type as well now we will provide another input field over here and this time we will have the type as number in this case so when we press enter as you can see the type is being defined as number over here and for the name field we will provide it as age because we will ask the user in order to provide the age of the user so guys the same value we will copy it as the id as well for this particular input field and before this we will also have the label tag over here and for the for attribute we will have the value as age so that the user can click on this label and provide the number to this input field in this case so we will provide the label as provide your age in years followed by colon and then after this input tag we will also have the couple of line breaks so that the submit button is displayed on the next line so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so as you can see provide your age and years is being displayed over here and the user will not be allowed to provide any of the alphabets or the special characters in this case that's because we have provided the input field with the type number which means it will only accept the numbers in this particular input field so guys over here let's say if i provide some string in this case so i'm not able to type the characters and only the numbers are being displayed over here let us try the special characters so over here i'm typing the special characters as well but it is not being displayed over here that's because the input field will only accept numbers in this case so let's say we provide the number as 105 in this case and when we click on submit button over here you can see that the age attribute is being displayed inside the url with the value of 105 over here now guys over here we can provide any number in this case let's say we provide 10,005 over here and click on submit so basically it is submitting that value but for the age factor we need to restrict the number so that the user can specify the age in between two numbers over here the user can also provide a negative number in this case so when we go down over here as you can see negative numbers can also be displayed over here and we can increase this number as well so guys basically you can use these arrows in order to increment or decrement the numbers as well but guys let us put some restrictions over here so the minimum age that we want is 18 in this case and the maximum age is 60 over here so we provide the min and the max attributes over here so as you can see the min attribute is equal to 18 and the max attribute is 60 in this case let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so now we will be able to restrict the age in between the 18 and the 60 numbers so as you can see when we are decreasing the number from 18 it is not decreasing so 18 is the minimum value that we can provide and 60 will be the maximum value so when we provide 59 and increase this number it is going to 60 and then when we click on the arrow once again so it is not incrementing the value and when we click on the submit button the age is being taken as 60 over here and what if we provide a number which is greater than 60 manually so let's say we provide 67 over here and when we click on submit as you can see we are getting the validation value must be less than or equal to 60 so basically this is the validation which will be displayed for the minimum number as well so when we provide 15 over here and click on submit so value must be greater than or equal to 18 over here so this is the validation that is automatically provided by the input field with the type number over here where we provide the min and the max numbers in this case guys apart from this we can also have the step attribute which will increment or decrement the value by that particular step value over here so let's say we provide 5 as the step value let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser and now if we provide any of the numbers so let's say we provide 18 over here and when we increment it by 1 so over here when we press on this upper arrow as you can see the next number is 23 that's because we have provided the step as 5 by default the step is set as 1 over here so that the user can increment or decrement the value by 1 but you can change that step value and we have set it as 5 over here in this case 
so that is the reason why when we increment the value the value is getting increased by 5 and when we decrement the value the value is decreasing by 5 and that is how we can set the attributes that is min max and the step value as well apart from this we can also have the default value by setting the value attribute over here so let's say the default age of the user is 25 in this case so we provide the value as 25 let me just save this file now and try reloading this page so as you can see by default you will be able to see the age as 25 so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is input type range in html form so stay tuned